wait to get back out there after the week off and have another defensive performance like you had all the year? Did you ever have any doubt you guys would be able to pick it right back up again? Well, we knew it was going to be tough. Um, you know, the first half uh, we, we had to make some adjustments. But, uh, you know, they they moved the ball. They scored 24 points a game. So we knew they had a good offense. Uh, but our, I thought our guys really played good in the red zone. Uh, you know, we gave up one run for the half. as their first run over 20 yards this season. But... Uh, that was my fault because I, I didn't think they'd run it with 22 seconds left, but they did. And the guy made a big play. So, uh, But, uh, you know, you have to be pleased overall. Is that Wait, one you of the guys more... went mostly with your base rather than with a lot of tight teams try to do and spread out against them. Yeah, we knew they were going to spread out. Uh, we wanted to give them a different look than what they had seen, and we didn't want to let them run the football. They averaged 150 yards a game rushing. Like I said, 24 points a game. We felt like... If you let those backs get get the ball and get going with it, now you know they tried to run a lot of screens, but um, to get them the ball, but uh, we had to stop the running game. I thought we did that. What kind of a feeling is it though to give up threes and once again no touchdown for your D? Yeah, I mean that's that's you know the, those are big plays in, in the red zone. They can change you know, you know the course of the game certainly. You know we get 21 and they got nine. Both teams were down there three times. All right, Connor Barwin makes a play and also your rookie. What does that do for the interior guys when the outside men put those that pressure on the quarterback? Yeah, we had a lot of hits on the quarterback. I'm sure he's going to be sore. They, we, I thought we put good pressure on the guy. The guy played, uh, I thought he played really tough. Uh, you know, we finally wore him down in the second half. But uh, he's a really good quarterback. Are both Merciless and Crick really giving you some more options to keep everybody fresh up front? Sure. Yeah, no, we... Um, you know, Earl, Earl Mitchell comes in and uh, Crick knocked down a pass and, and played good when he was in there. And, of course, uh, you know, Whitney continues to play well. So uh, we're glad to have those guys. How happy were you to see with his second sack now and second force fumble in the last two games? Yeah, you know, he's <laughs> got a knack for sack. I mean, he led the nation in sacks, and then he also led the nation in caused fumbles. So we see why both those things he led the nation. He, he uh, emulated it here, too. So that's great. Wait to pitch the shutout in the second half with the three red zone stops. So they, that, that, that frustrates an offense. Probably gets that press a little, right? Yeah, it's uh, you know it's it's big if you can keep them out of the end zone. Obviously, you know they didn't keep us out, and we got 21, and they got nine. I mean, you know, there's, there's three times teams had a chance to score.